The two slabs of concrete you see behind me, they used to be all the way over here, but authorities ordered them moved. That's so they could get to this spot, which is where Raiders Shed used to be. You can see where all that dirt is kicked up from them looking there, trying to see if they could find items that he described hiding. They say this all connects back to the disappearance of Cynthia Dawn Kinney. She was last seen when she was 16 in 1976, leaving a laundromat in Oklahoma. Authorities say they found new items that can tie Raider back to her disappearance. A connection separated by a street. Nearly 50 years ago, investigators suspect Dennis Raider was installing security equipment at a bank in Pahuska, Oklahoma. Across the road, a laundromat, the last place anyone saw Cynthia Dawn Kinney. It's that link that led the Osage County, Oklahoma Sheriff Eddie Verdon to start looking at Raider as a suspect in her disappearance. She was taken uh, mid-morning through the week, and a lot of his crimes occurred between 8 and noon through the week when he worked for ADT. Verdon says they discovered more evidence in a book that was being written by Raider about a project he called Bad Laundry Day. He would go to a nearby laundromat up there in Wichita and would watch victims and, and young women. That passage, written in 1976, the same year Kinney disappeared. The further we went in, the more information we gained that, that made us believe he he's the one that committed this crime. Other writings from Raider say he buried items belonging to victims under his storage shed. In April, authorities dug up the site where the shed once stood, finding pantyhose they believe Raider used to tie up victims. They returned this week, removing a section of sidewalk, digging deeper to uncover any secrets that may answer what happened to Cynthia Dawn Kinney. The sheriff's office is not describing what they found Tuesday. They are calling them items of interest, and they say that they found them exactly where Raider described burying them. Raider still denies any involvement with any other deaths aside from the 10 that he's already been convicted of. Here for you, Zena Taher, KSN News 3.